Hey guys, so this is the second video I'm filming with this lip. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to film a couple of videos tonight. I am starving, uh, but I wanted to film this one last video, which is my non-cruelty free um, beauty products, which is hair care, skin care, body care. I will have a whole other video for lashes, nails, and my Halloween makeup. At a later date, I haven't even written that stuff down. Um, I will probably get to it here in the next week or so, but I wanted to share with you guys this stuff that is not cruelty free. So let's just jump into it. I have the first round of products here in front of me. The first item I'll share with you guys is the Suave Kids Apple Detangler Spray. I love this stuff to detangler, detangler to tangle my hair. Um, honestly, I don't use it that often, so it is pretty full still, but I do want to get my use out of this, so that's product number one. Um, the second one is this. This I don't ever use. I might get rid of it. Uh, this is by Tony and Guy. This is their Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray, and again, it is pretty full. Um, I have my Mary Kay Satin Hands Nourishing Shea Cream, and let me tell you, if you think Mary Kay is cruelty free, they are not. They say they are, but they do sell in mainland China, which at the end of the day, they're not cruelty free. So take my L because I totally um, bought the $300 I don't know. Was it $300? No, that was Monet. I tried Monet too. Um, but I bought the $100, uh, kit to start my own business. And first of all, I was terrible at it. Um, no matter how hard I tried, I did not get any clients probably because I honestly hate people, <laughs> but, um, I guess I don't hate people. I just hate talking to people. I don't know. I'm really, I'm an awkward talker. Um, I'm surprised I'm even talking. I guess I'm talking to myself, but I'm surprised I'm even doing YouTube. But, um, take my L. They are not, they are not cruelty free. But this is their nourishing shade cream. And then I have a Jergens Natural Glow, um, and medium to tan. And then I have all of my perfumes in here. So I have a Victoria's Secret, I have a Bath and Body Works, Physicians Formula, my beloved Ascada. I want Ascada to become cruelty free so bad. I will sign a petition, send it my way. I love their perfumes. This perfume oh, it smells so good. This is probably the last one I will use up. I have MAC Turquatic, I have YSL, this is the Black Opium. I have a crystal perfume by Wet n Wild, and then I have a ton of samples. I have like Lancome, Prada, Victoria's Secret. I have a Replica Beach Walk in here, um, YSL Mon Paris. So I have all of these in here. So that's a total of 11 perfumes all together. All right, so I have a lot of skincare to share with you guys. So the first one I'll share is this i love this mask this is really really nice um if i could find another mint mask uh that's like spearminty i will totally buy it that's cruelty free but this is the walgreens studio 35 beauty brand Ooh, compared to the queen helene mint julep mask maybe i should look into that and see if that's cruelty free uh, but it clears blackouts and minimize blackouts i can't talk it's like midnight i'm starving I've been sitting in the same chair forever. Um, this is almost gone. Like I literally don't have that much left, probably only a couple uses. Um, but I have to find a dupe for this. So that's, uh, my first skincare product. The second one, honestly, I'm probably just going to toss. It's kind of old. I've had it for a while. I think I bought this at the dollar store. <laughs> this is the Oxy Maximum Action Kills Acne Bacteria Spot Treatment. I love my Mario Badescu. Is Mario Badescu cruelty free? I didn't even look into that. Uh, no, I think they are. I think they are. Um, if not, I have another product, but I think they are. I think I looked it up. 
Uh, but this is the, now I need to know. I have my laptop right here. We're gonna look it up real quick. Please hold. So according to Ethical Buddy, they are, they're just not like registered or like certified. Um, so, but I like my Mario Badescu spot treatment better than this. So I'll probably just toss it. It's kind of old. Um, I have the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which this is the first thing that I think I've purchased in a while that's not cruelty free. I bought this at Target when I went back home to Oregon in March and I was in Target. I needed to buy shampoo, conditioner, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I think a lot of that stuff that I did purchase was not cruelty free, but I was in such a rush. It was amidst COVID area, cause, area amidst COVID time, because I literally went when all of COVID started happening. I went at the beginning of March. Um, so I literally just ran in and ran out. It was chaotic. Um, that's when everyone was buying the toilet paper, but I bought a ton of stuff that wasn't cruelty free, but this is literally the only thing left in my collection that isn't. So I do like this, so I will use it up. Um, I do have three Peter Thomas Roth masks. I have the cucumber gel mask, the gold mask, and the Irish more mud mask. These are also kind of old, so I'm going to try to use these up in the next uh, couple of weeks. I have the Hydro Bionic, no, Hyd Hydro Biotic sleeping mask from Dr. Brandt. And then I have a shit ton of Mary Kay products again. So I have their eye mask, which is the only eye mask, or not eye mask, eye cream can't talk right now. Um, so I will keep this and use this up because it's the only eye cream that I have right now. Once I repurchase one or find one that I want to try, I'll probably just declutter that. It doesn't really do anything for my skin. I have the vitamin C activating squares. I have the tone correcting serum, which smells terrible. It smells like straight perfume and they're like, we don't have any scents. It smells like straight perfume. Um, I have this. This is the makeup remover, which I will keep this because this comes in handy um, when I do Halloween makeup, which is right around the corner, believe it or not. So I want to use this up around Halloween time. And then I have three creams. I have a night cream, which is honestly heavily fragranced as well. And I have two day creams. The day cream is not as fragrance. I can't really smell anything. Oh no, just kidding. They're heavily fragranced as well. So I will probably be throwing these away or seeing if anyone in Utah wants them. Honestly, probably not because I don't really know anyone in Utah. So I'll probably throw these away, unfortunately. Um, but heavily fragranced stuff like perfume smelling stuff on my face makes me break out so we're gonna avoid that at all costs I'm already breaking out terribly can't really tell but right here and right here I covered it pretty nicely um so yeah that's everything we have a total of 29 products I'm trying to wrap this up because I want to go eat I'm starving it's midnight I've been filming for the past four hours I started at 8 8 to 9 to 10 to 11 to 12 yeah for the past four hours so uh, that's it guys. So I will have again, my nail polish, nail products, Halloween stuff and lashes. Um, in a later video, I will have that probably in the next couple of weeks. All these videos are going to roll out. I have four videos right now that are going to roll out in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that, but I'm going to go eat and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye guys.